Back for more videos? Well, here you go. Today I'm going to show you some Super Nintendo emulation, some requested um, games, so you can see how well it runs. First thing to do, of course, is start the emulator. It takes only a couple of seconds, even if you have thousands of ROMs in your directory. Um, these are some of the games I own. Um, I read them using RetroD, so I can play them. First start with some uh, pretty well-known game, Yoshi's Island. Um, I think you're going to like how fast it runs. It has no slowdowns, it runs full speed without any frame skip. So just enjoy that one. Let's play a bit darker game, Super Castlevania 4. Um, pretty dark colors, but still looking nice here. Working well, of course. No special game at all. Um, but really, a game I'd like to play. I never played the Super Castlevania series really at all. I owned the cartridge, but I didn't have the time playing it yet. Played them on the NES. I don't think I need to introduce that game to anyone. Just showing how nicely it can be played, how nicely it runs. Really still one of my all-time favorites. And I still like it better than the uh, more recent version. I always like the classics best. Now here's some requests from the boards, Star Fox, uh, and you will see how nicely it runs, full speed, very playable, enjoy. Here's one of my favorite, um, Star Ocean with Scale 2X, um, one of the most beautiful 2D games on the Super Nintendo, I think, and I like role-playing games, so I really love that game. Um, let's go a bit further, zoom a bit more in. So, this is using Scale 2X as filter, so it smooths um, the uh, text, for example, and all the edges, looks much more high resolution with that one. Um, and it still plays full speed. So what else should I tell you? Just take a look and see for yourself. But that's really, really, really great 2D graphics. I wish I could do that. I'm using that common game Super Metroid to show you some of the other features the emulator has. Um, you've seen it can do scale to X which smooths the edges. Of course it does save SRAM and it can also load and, um, load and save save states. So you can play wherever you want, you can change the frame skip although it's not really needed. Um, you can select different save slots and you can uh, scale it full screen. I really don't like it if it stretches like that, but I know there are some among you who like to play the games full screen on the Pandora LCD. So here goes Stretched Super Metroid. One
one more game that just looks beautiful on the LCD and is perfect for a small portable handheld, that's Kirby on the Super Nintendo. Looks way better, better than on my TV screen, I think. I really like the colors, so looks great. Another request I've seen on the boards, that's Mega Man X3. As you can see, also full speed, no issues, running fine, playing well. So, those were a couple of Super Nintendo games I have at home. Um, if you want to read out your own collection, go to retroly.org, um, where you can order um, a device where you can read out your own cartridges and play them legally on the Pandora. Let's just switch to scale to x the last time and, well, that's for the video today. Tomorrow there will be a video of the first power-up for new users of the Pandora. See you tomorrow.